When President Ahmed Tunubu won the 2023 presidential election, his supporters were jubilating, okay? They were jubilating because the man that they supported, the man they really thought that would be able to set this country in the right direction, has won. This man, they trusted him. They knew that all the poverty, all the insecurity, all the electricity cuts, all other things that are the problem of this country were going to be wiped out completely. And when President Ahmed Tunubu announced the removal of fuel subsidy on the day of his inauguration, a lot of people applauded him, especially his supporters. They applauded him. They said, yes, he has done it. What Buhari could not do, in his eight years in office, Tunubu had done it. Tunubu is an action man, a charismatic leader, a man of his word. But one APC supporter, just one man, is very furious with the president for taking such a very disastrous step. This furious man said that he was completely disappointed in the president because he campaigned for him, actually. He campaigned him for him in person. And he expected him to do well. He expected him to do better. Okay. He started campaigning for him when he found out that P2B was a pretender, according to him. Okay. But now that they expected this particular man that he voted in, he expected him to hear the cry of poor masses who were already suffering. Now he removed the subsidy. He removed the fuel subsidy. And not only that, the price of things in the market has, as a result, the prices of things in the market has skyrocketed. And the price of fuel in the filling station is now 540. He said he cannot take it. He said he cannot take it anymore. He said that he is listening to the cry of the people that voted Tinubu in, that he cannot bear it. My people, I want you to listen to this man. I want you to watch the vi this video. So when we come back, we'll continue with the rest of the video. So my dear people, if you know that you have not subscribed to my channel, can you do so now? Click on the bell icon so that you can easily assess my upcoming posts. Like, share my video to support me. Thank you so much. Upon all this stress and pains I'm going through, at the end of the day, I'm still seeing my people buy for a drink of 520 naira. And the deal sold, the subsidy was paid to the end of July. We are seeing in June, my people are buying the phone. And you as a new president in the office, you are not saying anything. Are you connected with these people to forsake masses? Sir, we all drive away from Peter Obi just because we realize that he's a pretender. So if we are not driving away from Peter Obi just because he's a pretender, and the road we are facing now, we we'll discover that same person that we believe that is going to for masses is the same people is a pretender to us. Sir, but that man, don't dare us in this country, don't dare us. Some people are not eating, some people they, they, are not, they cannot work freely just because they are campaigning for you. They use their life to campaign for you. Sir, you can send us to prison, you can do anything, you can arrest us, but we will never let you rest. If you continue selling food at the rate of 520 naira and you are not saying anything, we use our life to campaign for you. We do have free movement just because we are campaigning for you. Now you are frustrating us. We need to talk at this point. If you don't have a final say on the marketers to tell them they should stop selling for a date of 520 naira after three weeks in, in the office. Sir, I am highly disappointed in you. I am highly disappointed in you because I thought after the meeting, you are going to instruct them to sell the fuel at the 185 naira till ending of July before you decide on what to do. But as sometimes I'm talking to you now, we are saying you play the same role of uh, Buhari. Because we all know that when they detect for Buhari, they tell Buhari what to do. Now, same thing is happening to you, Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Let me tell you, we are ready to die with your neck, we will drag with you. Because we use our life to campaign for you. And, and it is out of frustration that this man is speaking. Yes, because when you make a little and spend so much, it is quite frustrating, okay? So it means that people are really suffering so much in, and this anger that is being poured is really the anger of the whole nation that is being poured here. So, but the one thing this man has to understand is that he voted this man in. He is supposed to wait 
stands solidly behind this man that he voted. He's not supposed to come out to the public to say this because he supported this man, he voted this man in. And um, because me, uh, we, the supporters of P2B, we are solidly behind P2B, even when he had lost. We are solidly behind him. We are solidly behind him, even as he is going to court with uh, the president. We are behind him because we felt that he won the election and he said he, he was very sure that he won the election and he was not given the mandate. So he is going to court and we have supported him during election. We are solidly behind him. And uh, this is really what I expected this, young, uh, this particular man that is furious here to do. Stand behind who you have supported. No matter what, come rain, come sunshine, you continue to say one thing, that this man that you supported is going to be able to take this country forward. Because this is what your fellow APC supporters are saying. They are saying that the fuel, removal of fuel subsidy is actually a gain, that at the long run is going to help to make the country better. And a lot of analysts have also said that it's going to make the country better. And uh, if you look at it, the number is really going up and doing right now, according to the people. Yes, we know that he is up and doing, even though we do not capitalize on this, because uh, Buhari did the same thing when he went into office the first year he went to office he did, really did a lot of things immediately he was sworn in he first of all cleaned up the military to remove the few bad eggs the soldiers were deployed to the sambisa forest where the boko haram were actually overpowered and a lot of people who were captivated by the boko haram were released at the time hundreds of them were released okay and this really made the people to say, hey, Buhari is trying. But eight years later, we swore that somebody like Buhari will never, ever smear that seat again because the things that happened to us during his regime were so enormous that we could not be to even let any APC person go there again. And this is actually why we did not support, uh, I personally did not support Etinobi because I felt that APC has failed woefully. So the only thing that I have to say to this young man is that you have to stick to whomever you have voted in. You have to stick to him. There's no need of going about being angry because you voted this man in. You should stand solidly behind him, whether he's doing good or bad. You should stand solidly behind him. There's no need to come to the internet to cry. We are not interested in the tears, okay? Just stand behind who you have voted in, whether good or bad. Whatever the outcome is, is just stand behind him because I personally I stand behind P2B. So, but then this is really strictly one of my own opinion. Whatever you have to say, my people, leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for coming this far with me. My name remains Florence and this is Story TV. If you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. Kindly subscribe to my channel and set notifications so that you can easily assess my upcoming posts. Like, share my video to support me. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye.